Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Colorado Pain Network. The topic today is what you need to know about epidural injections. What exactly is an epidural injection? It's an outpatient procedure involves, involving the placement of steroid and numbing medicine into the epidural space. So you can see the epidural space right here. It's the area around the spinal cord or the remnant of the spinal cord. Okay. It's designed to relieve the pain from pinched nerves and the injection does not go into the spinal cord or into nerve roots. All right, It's not designed to do that. So what are the indications for epidural injections? Most commonly it's for a herniated disc that has radiculopathy if it's in the neck or sciatica which is when the pinched nerve is in the lower back. Um, it's also indicated for spinal stenosis. Also inflamed nerve roots due to degenerative disc disease. If there's a tear in the outer part of the disc, this is an, called an annular tear. It can spark up inflammation and irritate the surrounding nerve roots. And then compression fractures can also benefit from epidural injections. So here you see a disc, and this is the nucleus here, and there's a large bulge going backwards, and it's actually pinching on a nerve root as it tries to get out from the spinal cord or the remnant of the spinal cord called the dura. Okay, and the redness indicates inflammation, and an epidural injection can bathe this area with soothing anti-inflammatory medicine. So there are three different types of epidural injections. Interlaminar is uh, the oldest type of epidural that was performed back in the 1960s uh, all the way till today. Um, this is a lamina on the bone. This is a lamina. So between interlaminar is where the needle goes and the steroid uh, is placed. Transferaminal injection is a newer type of epidural where the medication doesn't go here, interlaminar actually goes where the nerve root is truly getting pinched most of the time um, out this area, this is the foramen where the nerve root gets out from the spine so they call that transferaminal when the steroid goes in this area. Okay. Caudal is an interesting concept. This is the sacrum and this is your spine going up. Okay. There's an area here called the sacral hiatus, and a caudal injection involves a larger amount of liquid, steroid numbing medicine, going into this area, and the fluid migrates up, and it can soothe nerve roots in multiple levels. Okay, That's one of the things that makes a caudal great. So if you have spinal stenosis with multiple nerve roots getting pinched at several levels due to arthritis, this can be a great option. How are these injections performed? Well, they're all outpatient. It takes about 30 minutes depending on whether it's one level, two level, how difficult it is to get to. It's often local numbing. Some patients do get IV sedation. Some of it depends on experience, if you've had it before, if you're claustrophobic, things like that. Modern pain management doctors use fluoroscopy, which is a real-time form of x-ray. You can see the machine here. There's a fluoroscopy machine in the shape of a C. So a lot of people call it a C-arm. For interlaminar, there's a technique called a loss of resistance where the needle's going in and then a pain doctor will feel um, as it gets through the harder soft tissue, it loses resistance and that's when they know they're in the epidural space. Then they'll inject some dye to make sure that the needle is positioned accurately and then the steroid medication along with some numbing medicine like Marcaine or Lidocaine. And patients typically go home the same day within about an hour after the procedure. How well do they work? Well, there have been dozens of studies looking at epidural injections, and overall the results are 75 to 90 percent good to excellent results. You may need a series of three injections over a six-week period for maximal benefit. The first injection may work a little bit, the second one may work really, really well, and the third may give complete pain relief. Okay, So oftentimes it's not the first injection that gives the maximal benefit. The numbing medicine will start to work right away and usually within two to three days the steroid medication will kick in and the overall pain relief may last a few days or it may last upwards of three to four months. Are epidural injections FDA approved? Epidural injections are not FDA approved for use in the spinal canal. They're not disapproved either. They're just not on label. And this is not a bad thing. A lot of medications are used all, all the time for off-label indications. It's legal, it's beneficial, Here's some examples. Neurontin is FDA approved for anti-seizure medication, but it's used all the time off-label for nerve pain and migraines. Lidoderm or the FDA skin patches for shingles, 
These are used all the time for back pain after surgery um, and for other needs uh, regarding back pain. Propranolol is FDA approved for, for high blood pressure, but it's all, all the time used off-label for performance anxiety. So that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it's used off-label. Colorado Pain offers the top pain management in the Denver metro area, including locations in Buena Vista, South Granby, Golden. They accept over 50 insurances with the board-certified pain doctors who offer both medication management and interventional treatments, such as all the epidural injections just discussed. They've won the Patient's Choice Award for five years in a row. The number to call for treatment is 720-306-9529. And visit us on the web at painmanagementdenverco.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Colorado Pain Network. Your pain stops here.